August 22nd. This is the Tree Trunk Terrace and Berry Boulevard Garden Update. So you can see the Berry Boulevard is teeming full of plants. The raspberries have really taken over as well as the strawberries have done remarkably well. You can see all their runners running in all the directions. Uh, normally they don't put on a, a second crop, but this year they seem to have put on a nice crop of uh, second year uh, raspberry plants. You'd see that I had a, a golden one just a minute ago, and here's a nice cluster of red ones. And there's quite a few clusters on the way over there as well. Got some corn stalks forming up next to all these nice ripe raspberries are soon to be ripe. And their little pollen tassels. And it's a little bit uh, crowded, but I have added some chives. Uh, this is another asparagus shoot coming up, and this is a blackberry or a boysenberry next to all of the lush strawberries. So none of these uh, berries have been watered at all this year, although it has been a very wet uh, season. Moving on to the tree trunk terrace side. Here is the tree trunk terrace. It's a little bit overgrown as well. Um, the strawberries have done very, very well. Huge amount of fruit this year, and uh, they're running all over the place like they generally love to do. Here's a bunch of runners. If any of these uh, little soil, these little lead leaves uh, reach soil, then it'll create a brand new plant. As well as uh, spreading from all the seeds from any fruit that may have fallen. So I should be picking and choosing on which plants I really want to keep the most. Here's a boysenberry coming up here. They got asparagus ferns coming through. Lots of pollinators flying around and jumping around. Maybe I'll bring you in show you the pollinators on the uh, mint. You can see the pollinators always really love the mint. We have uh, sage here, more asparagus, lots of big fennel seeds almost being complete. We got a gomi berry back here, we got sunflowers up the front, we got currants around the base, got the peach tree up above. There's a thick, thick layer of strawberries kind of devouring my stepstones, so I've got to uh, probably transplant them. Here's another mint area where the pollinators just really love. Here's a nice sunflower also being pollinated by lots of uh, insects. Another one down here. I've mixed uh, various zinnias. These are these ones here. And lavender here and amongst the corn and the dill and the fennel and all the other little things around. This corn stalk, you can see how ridiculously long it is. It's not fully pollinated but it has a fair amount of this ornamental, in this case blue corn. And just a lot of uh, columbine, lots of... Uh, what have I missed here? I mentioned the peach tree is getting a bit bigger this year, and uh, I guess that's about it. I gotta do nice thinning, but uh, overall, none of this has been watered. And uh, despite I have water nearby, I fill the uh, watering dishes for the birds and the animals. Uh, but that's about it. You can see just how abundant it all is. Got a lot of fruit this year, lots of seeds, and uh, lots of rootstock, which I can now divide and spread to other areas. So, I am quite impressed with this, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the October, sorry, the uh, August update. So, thanks very much for watching.